What's going on, people? Welcome to the LV Live show. I'm LV Live. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button. Once again, I want to thank all the new subscribers for coming by to my channel, man. It is truly, truly appreciated. And as you see right here, it is officially Giants season. Training camp starts today. Uh, well, I actually started. The rookies came in on the 15th. But today is the day that the vets, everyone's all there. Daniel Jones, the whole crew, Sexy Dexy, everybody's there. Um, so today's the day. And as you see right there on the screen, preseason starts with our first game being against the Detroit Lions. Also, too, we're going to be um, doing a, 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 a practice to where they pretty much kind of have like a live practice together before they do the preseason. So pretty much we're going to be doing that with the Detroit Lions. We did it last year as well. So hopefully uh, we'll kind of have that live practice with them before we play them. No injuries, but I think it's good to kind of get, you know, get the pads cracking and stuff like that as they say in football terms. Very great offseason, man. Very gr great offseason, but I think it's great because also, too, you had the hard knocks going on, which I'm going to touch on, which you were able to really see the inside or behind the scenes of how the sausage is made, right? Pause. <laughs> right? But how the things are made to really bring the team together, the hard decisions that, you know, these GMs have to make and coaches. Um, in regards to trying to get this team to be the best team that they could be because, you know, the reality is that the Giants did not play well. They didn't. They had a terrible season. Dane Jones coming off of ACL, um, which, you know, I had one. It usually really takes about a good year, probably about a good two years to really, truly, really feel like, feel like yourself as an athlete anyways. And, you know, he's coming off. He's maybe be back in like 10 months. And from what I'm hearing, he's a full go in practice. Like, there's no, he can't, you know, there's nothing to hold him back. He can kind of pretty much practice, you know, full go, right? So, but also, too, I don't know how it's going to look with the preseason games. I don't know if he's going to, you know, I don't know if he's going to play in the first preseason game, maybe the second one, but he's got to get ramped up and kind of get ready for the season. Um, but, in, but in getting ramped up, the most important thing, which um, the Giants – you know, identified this year was offensive line. They picked up John Runyon Jr. and Jermaine Elanuminor to help out solidify that line, which was great in free agency, right? I think, um, you know, I'm going to touch on it. You know, I think that that's what the Giants cared about. They focused strictly on the offensive line. Joe Shane asked Brian Dable during the hard knocks, what is the most important thing that you feel like we need? Brian Dable said offensive line. That's the main thing we got to focus on. So with that being said, in doing that, they had to kind of let somebody go. The person they had to let go was Saquon Barkley, right? That, that was the whole drama last year. What was going to happen with Saquon Barkley? They had to franchise tag him. You know, he felt he needed more money. The whole running back market, you know, all these things that were going on last year, not just with the Giants, but through the NFL. And the beauty of the hard knocks, um, if you guys ever checked it out, it's on HBO Max, man, definitely do so. I believe tonight it comes out. It's going to be uh, episode, episode four, I believe. Um... But the beauty of Hard Knocks is that for the first time ever, they are going behind the scenes to show you exactly how things are done, right? How pretty much they're able to try to stay under the salary cap, how they got to kind of let guys go, how they got to bring guys in, how the money's got to match, the deals that are made, negotiations, everything. And it's beautiful to see uh, because it's not easy, right? Initially, last year, they had $240 million to play with. Now the salary cap has gone up to where it's $255 million that they could play with to pretty much make their team and assemble their roster and pay the players. But like I stated earlier, they, you know, went out and got offensive line because that's what they felt was more important. Due to that, they had to let Saquon Barkley go, right? But not just leave to go to any other team. He went down the turnpike to the Philadelphia Eagles, which was – I put it to like this, John Mara wasn't happy about that. He stated in hard knocks that, you know, he would not be able to sleep at night if he knew that Saquon Barkley was going to the Eagles. And that's basically what happened. Um, my opinion about this is that I think the Giants, or shall I say Joe Shane, never really wanted to keep Saquon Barkley. I think he has a vision in how he wants his team to be built. And I think he's pretty much taken the blueprint from what he had in Buffalo and trying to bring it to the Giants. Remember the Buffalo Bills, they went out and got Josh Allen, right? And that's what they pretty much built their team based off of. And they turned Josh Allen into a superstar in this league. And that was Joe Shane and Brian Dable. So with that being said, that's why I'm not surprised that all this Saquon stuff, it got blown up the way it did because I don't think that they really 
believed in, that's how you build an NFL team. Like, it's got to be focused on the quarterback. And Joe Shea mentions that in one of the Hard Knock episodes. He states, listen, man, look, I'm not paying a quarterback $40 million to hand it, back, hand it off to a $12 million running back. I'm not doing that. And that's quoted from Joe Shane. And as much as I love Saquon and I wanted him to stay here, Joe Shane is 1,000% right. 1,000% right. Because in the NFL, as your team goes, the quarterback goes. He is the top dog. If he's one of the best players in the league, your team is going to go really, really far. That's just what it is, period. It's always been that way. And so I think the Giants pivoted and made a really strong stance in saying, Saquon, go out and test the market. If you get great money, you know, try to see if we can match it. But if we can't, we wish you the best of luck, basically. Um, and I think that that was the decision that they made. But I think that was the decision that they they made like a while ago. I don't think this was something he just came up with. Of course, the cameras are going to show you that. But I think deep down inside, he knew Man, this is the direction I want this team to go in. I do. And so they really focused on offensive line. Like I stated, they got John Munyan Jr. and Jermaine Ellen Numenor. So those are the things that they wanted to focus on. Also, too, uh, if I'm correct, I believe they're meeting with uh, Greg Van Roten, I believe. He's from the Raiders. He's got a very high PFF grade. So he's trying to, he's visiting with the Giants now. So hopefully they can bring him on. Um, because that's to me what has to be solidified. Daniel Jones has had two major injuries. The neck injury, which I don't, th- I didn't believe he was going to come back from. A lot of people were speculating that he might, he might not. That's how bad the injury was. And also, too, ACL. Like I stated, I, I had one before. So that takes at least, at least two years, man. So I don't know if he's going to be fully recovered. Even though he's a full go, I don't know if he's going to really feel like, feel like himself. I'm, I just don't think so. So with that being said, that line's got to be solidified. And you got to have some dogs up there. That's going to be able to protect your asset. Because if not, the Giants are going to find themselves in the same situation they were in last year. And so I think that's the focus. Um, they also went out and got Brian Burns, which was a big get. Um, him opposite, opposite Kayvon Thibodeau should be able to wreak havoc on the measures. And then also, too, you're going to have, uh, of course, big sexy Dexy in that middle. Um, I think it's going to be great for the defense, right? Because now with them blitzing the quarterback, now that gives the cornerbacks Deontay Banks and you know, Jason Pinnock and those guys back there, opportunities to make big plays on the balls and stuff like that. Pause. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I think that's going to be great. So, all in all, it should be a really exciting season. Um, I'm excited to see exactly what um, Malik Neighbors does. The big-time draft pick they got out of LSU, the number six pick. I think that if Daniel Jones has time back there, I think, you know, he's got some weapons. You know, remember, we still have Jalen Hyatt out there on the outside, the speedster from Tennessee. And then we also have Darius Slayton, who I also think is a very high-caliber player. He just hasn't had, um, you know, great quarterback play to really show his skill set. But he has shown that he does have the skills to really put up big numbers in this league. So he has weapons. So we got to see exactly. Also, too, you know, the, the backup that they brought in uh, for Saquon Barkley is Devin Singletary. He's also a Buffalo guy that pull up decent numbers up there in Buffalo. So it should be pretty exciting. Um, also, too, we got to see exactly what this defense looks like. I did talk about the edges, but also, too, with Wink Martindale being gone and that soap opera that was last year, man, with him and Brian Dable and whatever was going on in that locker room, he's gone, and they bring in the Titans, Shane Bowen, right? Um, so we got to see exactly what the defense looks like. It's going to be a different scheme. So we got to see how that looks. But with having Kayvon, Kayvon Thibodeau and – uh, Burns on the outside there. I think it should make Bowen's job a little, a little bit more easier. Um, so it's going to be exciting, man. I'm excited to see exactly what's going to happen. Um, you know, preseason is just kind of getting the, the feelers out to see exactly you know how guys look. But I think the most important thing, I mean, you know, I stated earlier, is going to be that O line. They're going to have to make sure we already know what Andrew Thomas is. We know how good he is. If Evan Neal. The first couple of practices doesn't look like he's got it. You got to bump him down to guard, and then you got to put Jermaine Ellen on tackle. He could play guard and tackle. You got to put him at tackle. Once again, Daniel Jones has come off with two major injuries in his career, two major ones: the neck and the knee. We can't have him back there getting destroyed like what he was last year and get another injury. So we got to protect our asset. And if Evan Neal doesn't have it, 
that's why you got these big guys coming up in here who you pay top dollar to to pretty much solidify that front. And to me, that's the key. That's the key to how far the Giants can go this year. Defensively, we've, we've always been solid. But I think that, you know, that's the key. If the quarterback has time to throw to those weapons on the outside, I think we could surprise some people this year. Right? But we open up uh, September 8th against the Vikings. So exactly see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, LV will come back every week, man, every week now to get things rocking and rolling with this football talk because it is football season, baby, and I'm extremely, extremely excited. All right, but listen, but that's my show. I'm LV Live. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that like button, people. All right, also, too, if it's your first time coming by, please subscribe, and also, too, please leave comments. All right, I'm LV Live, and that's my show, and I'm out of here, people. Peace.